Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little uh, upper body, or actually kind of a core traditional workout. So what we're gonna do first is a plank. So this is the plank exercises. Um, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go into a plank position. Now with the plank, what's really important is that you wanna position yourself so that your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Uh, a lot of people will start themselves over here. So we're gonna make sure that we're underneath here. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to tighten your butt, tighten your abs, and then lift your hips up like this. You're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. Now this might be difficult, but I do want you to try this. If this bothers your back, you can probably do it on an elevated surface, like a box or just something like a stool maybe, like this. So you can do this, this is a little bit easier. I kind of want to make sure that when you do this, you're not, in, some people traditionally, like I've had people in the past do a plank on their knees. The problem with doing a plank on your knees is that you're not able to engage the butt. So we want to make sure we engage the glutes with the abs at the same time. Okay, you're gonna hold for 10 seconds and then you're gonna rest for 10 seconds. So you have a little timer, 10 seconds hold and then relax, okay? 10 seconds hold and then relax. And that's what you're gonna do there. That's a plank, five rounds. So it will take about just under two minutes. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a bird dog. And what a bird dog is, or actually the opposite arm, opposite leg uh, balance. So you're gonna tighten your abs, draw on your abdomen. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna kick one leg out, balance yourself. It's important you start like this first, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise the opposite hand and reach forward. You wanna keep the abdomen engaged. This butt cheek is activated, abdomen tight, and holding, holding for 20 seconds and then you're gonna switch sides. Now, if you have an irritated knee or your knee bothers you being on the ground like I am right now, what I recommend you do is you put something soft underneath your knee. There's another modification to this. Um, you can use a ball. Don't have a ball to demonstrate, but basically if you did it on a ball, let's just use a stool as a ball. You're gonna be on your stomach like this, and what you're gonna do, kick one leg up like that. This is kind of an alternate way to do it but I prefer the other way better, if you can do it. And then, the, and you'll be doing 20 seconds on each side. So you do three rounds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, and then 20 seconds, so on. And then glute bridges, you can do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You wanna position yourself so you have about 90 degree angle at the knees. You wanna position your body so that you tighten your abs, arms to your sides. And then what you're gonna do is keeping your abs tight, you're gonna squeeze your butt. Push your hips up, really contract your butt cheeks. Gonna hold this for 20 seconds. Have a timer close, and then relax, okay? Hold up, 20 seconds, tight, tight, tight. Then relax, okay, you do that. And the last but not least, some push-ups. So, this is a really easy push-up circuit. Not easy, it's actually hard. But um, we're gonna do it in a way where you can tolerate it. I recommend you go on an elevated platform, probably, probably something higher than this. Uh, which, is a, which is a bench. But I want you to accumulate 30 repetitions. Uh, maybe you can break them up in sets of five. So you'll be able to do it like this. So one, two. Very important that your butt is tight. Tighten your abs. Three, four, and five. And then you'll rest. Okay, so if that's difficult, you can go on a higher High elevation, what I care most about is you're getting as close to 90 degrees as you can. Uh, I had some people do a push up on a wall, you know, uh, that would also be effective. What I care more about is with this exercise with the push ups, you're working your shoulders, your chest, and your triceps. So you accumulate 30 repetitions. So in these videos, I think it's, it might, I might split this up in two or three videos, um, you're going to do this entire workout. Well, I should say, the workout pieces, which is the, the exercises and the plank and then the push-ups and stuff, you're gonna wanna do all this stuff uh, through four days a week for the next, for at least for this next week. And then um, for this first week. The stretches and the calves should be done every single day, all right? I also recommend that you at least do something with your lower body every day, all right? This is kinda like your, this is the base of the program. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below or email me and, um, I'll see you guys later.